For applications where an open dish system is necessary, Bioptics has designed the Delta T Environmental Control System. The Delta T provides accurate temperature control and high numeric aperture compatibility in a convenient disposable culture dish system. The Delta T system is based on the same thermal transfer capabilities that we used with the FCS2 in that we had an ITO coating on, a, on the glass substrate that transferred heat into the optical cell cavity. However, on a Delta T, we incorporate a plastic dish ring with a cover glass mounted in the bottom such that the cover glass has the same indium tenoxide coating as the microaqueduct slide. There are bus bars applied to the ITO coating that enable us to pass an electrical current through the coating which generates heat and transfers the heat by means of conductivity rather than outer radiation directly to the cells in the dish. Therefore you have a disposable cover slip bottom intrinsically temperature controlled environmental control dish in which to do your experiments. This eliminates the need to plate cells on a cover slip in a petri dish and then transfer that cover slip to some other structure to do your microscopy. With the Delta T system you can simply plate your cells directly into the dish which already has its cover slip bottom for high numeric aperture compatibility and then place them in the incubator to let them plate or you could take the dish immediately after plating and put it over into the stage adapter. Now the stage adapter has a set of electrical contacts on the bottom of it and a thermal sensor that mate with the bottom of the dish. The dish fits into the stage adapter by means of a little bayonet mount. You rotate it 15 degrees and simply tighten these two set screws so that the dish stays in tight registration with the stage adapter. This is important if you're working with numerically controlled stages and the stage might be moving around selecting different cells. You want this stage to always be able to come back and rest in the same location and not have the dish slide around within the stage adapter. If you are intending to do transmitted modes of microscopy such as DIC, Faze, Varel, or Hoffman, in addition to your fluorescence, you may want to have a lid on top of the dish that is not black. Now it is not recommended to use a clear plastic lid because condensation will form. Therefore, Bioptics makes what's called a cover glass lid that's also heated. In this case, you set the lid on top of the dish. You can even attach a CO2 port onto the side to control the gas concentration over your cells. And the top portion of the glass on the lid is electrically heated in the same manner as the Delta T dish itself. Therefore, condensation doesn't form on the dish. In the event you're making time-lapse images using phase, DIC, or Varel, or some other type of transmitted contrast mode, you will probably want to form an optical surface on the air to media surface that would normally be in the dish without any type of a lid. This type of a lid has a cover glass bottom to it that actually is depressed down into the media enough that it displaces the media and replaces it with an optically flat surface. Therefore, the critical angle of illumination from the condenser is not disturbed throughout the time-lapse sequence so that the full series of images still comes out uniform. Now this particular lid does not have perfusion, but we also have one available that gives you the perfusion capability. In this case, you attach your inflow and outflow and you're ready to go again. In the event your specimen is not adherent cells, maybe it is an artificial membrane, a piece of natural membrane, like bowel section or trachea, or even perhaps a cut section of a uh, hippocampal brain slice, you would need a different type of an adapter for each specimen type to be used in the Delta T dish. In that the Delta T dish will take care of the optical, thermal, and fluidic characteristics you need for your microscopy. The game is just to simply get the specimen in the dish. If you're working with a trachea or bowel section, for instance, we're going to let this little piece of plastic represent that material. You would place your material over top of an aperture and then secure it in place, in this case with an autoclavable O-ring. What this will do for you is define the specimen over an aperture so that it's flat. The specimen can then be lowered down into the dish where you can simply adjust the height of the specimen relative to the focal range of the objective by rotating the outer stainless steel ring. If your cells are grown on an artificial membrane, Bioptics has a variety of adapters made to fit those various membranes. This particular one is a millipore membrane. 
and over here we have a transwall membrane from CoStar. In either case, you would grow your cells on the basal surface of the membrane. Instructions for doing so are available on the Bioptics website. The membrane is then placed into one of the adapters where the specimen can then be lowered into the delta T control and you also have the ability to rotate this metal outer ring here and adjust the z-axis position of the specimen relative to the focal range of the objective. There's also perfusion ports available if you need them. The adapters are also available without perfusion ports. There may be applications where you need to reduce the temperature of the specimen below ambient. In that case, we have a cooling ring that attaches to the Delta T stage adapter. This enables you to position a stainless steel autoclavable cooling loop down into the dish. You attach a refrigerant line to one side and let the other side drain out. And this allows you to reduce the temperature of the specimen at any time you want just by simply turning on your refrigerant flow. This is typically used for microinjection applications where you want to firm up the lipid membrane of a cell to make it easier to microinject. You can do this by simply turning on your refrigerant flow, do your injection, turn off the refrigerant flow, and then turn the Delta T system back on, and generally within a minute you're back to physiological temperatures.